Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh. <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Beth Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. I didn't. Thanks for the asshole. Little industrial area. Why am I here? It looks like the graffiti is showing glimpses of time that we've already gone through. Only way forward. Okay, so it looks like that's going to be the weak point. We are going to have to figure out a way to handle that. Can we can just shoot it? simple approach. There's no way this isn't set up for something important, so please and necessarily work either. Weird. Okay, so we do need to go inside that room, but it looks like we can use our powers to lift up the object. That'd be you. And allow us to get across. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became Unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. There's still no word from Burke on Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts in our PR campaign. Amy Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. What about Jack Joyce? Once that confession hits the air, the whole city will be looking for him. He'll have nowhere to turn. He'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. That chart was the first sign. Monarch had built an entire PR campaign to protect their reputation. Media control team leader Charlie Wincott, IT security specialist. Amy Farrow confession video, admission of guilt. Sympathetic protesters take the blame for the library incident. Blame shifted to the protesters. Bit of a protest leader with criminal background, Jack Joyce. Keywords, terrorist activity, lost control, dangerous criminal. 
News leak confession to the media. Push emphasis onto protests to focus questions. Monarch stop terrorist attack. Your tactics build witch hunt. Build witch hunt. Public focuses on searching for Jack Joyce since he's a terrorist. Threat contaminated. Team leader Liam Burke. Monarch security. Find Jack Joyce. Joyce transported. Last seen entering ground zero perimeter. Never arrived at rendezvous. He's still missing. Insider suspected someone is helping Jack Joyce find and terminate. Long term strategy Martin Hatch. Monarch's Island Annual Gala. Send invitations to lifeboat participants. Paul Serene's Beach at 8.30. Real CFR to reassurance investors. Hey, Jarheads. Just got word from Martin Hitch. Apparently, our Almonte overlord, Paul Serene, has given them the green light to our PR proposal. We're implementing a broad PR strategy to deal with the public reaction to the university operation. That means that you'll be working with me directly to for the next several hours, whether you like it or not. And that's directed at you, Dave. First up, news broadcasted. I've skimmed through the list of witnesses pulled from the university and marked the best candidates to deliver our false confession. Amy Farrow, perfect miss of hot and sad puppy. Media will eat her up. Green screen and recording equipment are being prepped as we speak. Time is of the essence. I need the video shot and delivered to me within the next half hour in order to get to the media in time. So get her ready in uh, 15 minutes or so. Now wish she can get some fame. We're going to be pinning all this on Jack Joyce. That wacky little domestic terrorist rascal. Someone needs to take the fall, right? Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the line. Oh, that was such a bad shot. That always gotta be the grenades. Oh, no, no, no. Say, you're definitely going to be feeling that one. Go. And boom. Did you touch it? Shotgun advancing. That didn't sound good. On the other side of the wall, we're fine. Ah. Move up to the flag. Oh, I see you. I feel like we did not get enough warning that this is going to have a big giant window. Where's this little punk at? Pop your head up. Oh, you want to play like that? All right, fine. Hey, mister. That's Fruitville. Seems to be going relatively well, how we expected. All right, so we got a generator here. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about dry docks? If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm. No, at. Jack. The fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he. Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. 
But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find... We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. So at the end of each chapter in the game, there's going to be like a little mini TV series going on. See, so guys, are aware. Change something here? Okay, so we got new powers. We got activate pulse, threat detection, increase range, increase strength, increase dodge. I don't know what I would actually want to go for. I need to be using the dodge quite a bit, so I'd probably go with that one. I was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. All right, so we got the simple task of just exiting the warehouse. Okay. Please, please just let me go. You did good, Amy. Broadcast just went out, but Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. They don't make this easy. Hey, we saved her. Jack Joyce. You. From the protest. What do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey. Whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. So, could we shoot like a... <laughs> Never mind, I was being kidnapped by a monarch and I got rescued. Campaign going? Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. <sighs> oh, I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. I don't know, they seem to do a pretty good job of framing us already. Ah, okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, yeah okay. I wonder where. Do you think the I like one of these armored cars universe? will be perfect. I have no idea. They told me they were sent home, but I don't know what to believe anymore. It's not holding long. Um, I don't think you're fast enough. That could be fixed. Oh my god! You just... 
They're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, well, something to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really <laughs> want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. All right, my brother tried to explain. Time is an egg, which is now fucked. Time it, which is, it's fucked. It's like broken, I, I don't know. What, what? Why is there an egg? Time, we're locked out. I didn't mean to interrupt it. Through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. Anyways, time's, uh, you know, not in the best state. Well, I'll fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces together, it all goes banana pancakes. So everyone thinks that Monarch is run by this smarmy asshole named Martin Hatch, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Serene. And apparently he founded Monarch in 1999. Now, here's the thing. Paul Serene is the exact name of a guy who was heading some top secret physics project at my university. So it's got to be the same guy, right? Wrong. Now, I heard that Monarch was there to steal the project from the university, but why steal something from yourself? Also, I saw that guy Paul Serene on campus once, and he looked like 30 years old. So if you started Monarch in 1999, that would make him 14. So unless he's a Doogie Howser for corporate America, that's impossible. Banana fucking pancakes. So Paul founded Monarch. Thought we already knew that. Need to get up to that open window. Yes, but we needed to get to a high enough point. Like soon. Yeah, that window's pretty high up, but I think it's the only way in. I think we want to be able to get across from here like that. What do you think I'm doing? Alright guys, that's going to be for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.